Kia ora koutou and welcome to Uboat in about three minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode if you're up for it. It's a game for one to four players, playing time is long, and it's an incredibly complex game. It's 1940 and World War II is underway. You are the crew of the U-boat in the German Navy and your mission is to head into the Atlantic and sink as much shipping as you can while evading detection and returning home. You win this game if you complete your mission and survive. App. This game has an integrated app that is essential for play. Worker placement. Each action in the game requires crew to be in the right place to work. Player term. There are four crew positions, each with their own responsibilities. The first officer controls the app. In here, you will select the mission you want to do. You will also manage a variety of tasks within the app, including assigning people to repairs, entering the ship's course and depth, and using the periscope. As well as the app, the first officer controls the blue figures, has to manage the event deck, and track the welfare and medical condition of the crew. They also have the Enigma codebook and visual identifications. The navigator takes the mission map and navigation tools, controls the green figures, and also the crew's dinner. Navigating uses the navigation disc. The first officer will give you your course and your contacts bearing course and distance. For example, set your course to 290. The contacts bearing is 42, and their course is 70. They are two nautical miles away, so you place your sub and the contact on the mini-map. Turning to course 350 would lead you on an intercept. The engineer controls the brown figures and the ship's depth and speed. They also monitor the ship's status in regards to damage and repairs and the tools and toolkits. If things get bad, they also have to solve a puzzle in real time to fix the ship. The captain controls the white figures and tracks actions and morale revealing morale cards when needed. They also have a hand of special orders. There are eight locations on the ship, each tied to different actions. Crew have to be in the right place to take orders. A contact has been located, so the captain orders a dive and attack. The crew mobilize to attack positions, getting off the top of the ship. The engineers dive the ship to 10 meters, and the hydrophone operator gets a contact. The navigator plots a course, and the helmsman changed direction. The periscope is raised, and the torpedo tubes flooded. Finally, the targeting computer locks in a firing solution, and the torpedoes are launched. Why would you like this game? U-Boat is a unique game. It's definitely one for people who want a heavy game, a challenge, and a deep, rich, cooperative experience. Each player has a huge amount of responsibility and a lot to learn. So it's definitely for people who want a serious game that requires a time commitment to learn and play. The app integration is amazing, and there are many games around operating the anti-aircraft gun and the deck-mounted 88 mm cannon. And the physical presence of the game is amazing. That U-boat in the middle of the table sets the scene for the game like nothing else. The best thing about this game is the genuine sense of teamwork you get. When your plans come together, it's a mighty sense of achievement. However, being an U-boat crew in World War II and sinking civilian ships in the service of the Third Reich is not everyone's idea of a good time. And the complexity of this game is off the chain. For groups who enjoy it, it will be an absolute grail game but it's exceedingly unfriendly to casual gamers. For a real-time cooperative game of less complexity, try XCOM. And for a less confrontational theme, try Kitchen Rush. U-Boat, a serious game for serious people. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.